Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to go over one of the best Dreamcast emulators on PC, ReDream. Let's get started. Now I say one of the best because this is a very easy emulator to set up and use. To get started, head over to redream.io. I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video. There's a great Discord group if you'd like to join that for help if you do need help. Uh, if you click the download now button, it's going to bring you to a download page. It says download redream version 1.3.1 at the time of this video. There's also upgrade to premium. So if we check out the difference between the two, the only difference between light and premium is high definition rendering. So if you want to go up to 4K and render pretty much at max settings, you will have to pay a $5 premium that does go towards the creator of this emulator. However, if you're okay with just regular definition, you can get the light version and it runs the exact same. So for this video, we're just gonna go with a light version. So I'm just gonna click on go light, download Redream 1.3.1, and you can see the size of this. It is 2.7 megabytes. Now in the zip file, there is one program. It's really simple. I do recommend extracting this somewhere. So as you can see, I did create a folder called Redream and did put the application Redream in here. Now with Redream, you don't need a BIOS, which is one of the huge advantages to this emulator, which makes it also so easy. It's literally just opening up and running it. I also dragged a game in here. So you can see Capcom versus SNK2. So I just put everything basically in one folder, the emulator, the games that you wanna play with it, all in one folder to make life a lot easier. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna open Redream here. You can see it open, and now I'm gonna maximize it. So now I've Redream maximized. It says your game library is currently empty. So I'm gonna to go to the game library and I'm gonna to navigate to where I put the, the games. So I put them all in the Redream folder. So I'm just navigating to the Redream folder. Uh, instead of just adding this specific game here, if you have multiple games, you can add the whole directory. So everywhere where your games are, just add that directory. So I'm gonna do that right now and it's gonna auto populate. So you can see it does recognize the game right away. And from this point forward, I can just double click and now the game is running. It's running very smoothly and it's running without really much configuration at all. So I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Now I haven't configured this yet. This is just me plugging the Xbox 360 controller in while the game is running and everything gets registered. As soon as I hit start here, you can see that it brings me back to the start menu. And now looking at the controls, it has automatically mapped pretty much the buttons where I would want them to be. So this does a really, really good job of automatically detecting your controllers, automatically assigning the controls, and automatically configuring the emulator to your computer. Now to get back to the main menu of this emulator, you just have to hit escape on the keyboard. You can go into input, so it shows my input in port zero for my controller. Now I can go and customize the binds in here. It brings up the Dreamcast controller, so I know what buttons on the Dreamcast controller I'm assigning based on my controller that I'm using. Now if I go into the video settings, it says full screen, window size, aspect ratio, and polygon sort accuracy. You can play around with these here if it's not running smoothly for you. Uh, chances are you probably won't really need to change a whole lot. In system settings, you can change the region, the language, the broadcast, so NTSC or PAL, or PAL-M, PAL-N, whatever you choose, and the cable. So if you're using VGA, RGB, composite, it gives you all those great options. And if you're curious about game compatibility, currently 82.65% of Dreamcast games are playable. Now you can see zero are perfect with no issues at all. So most of them run well, minor glitches, and able to be completed. And if there's a game you're specifically interested in, just check the list here. They've got pretty much all the games listed and you can see which ones are broken, which ones work and really get a good idea of what you're getting into. Now, in terms of Dreamcast emulators, Redream is probably one of the best in terms of ease of use. This is extremely easy to set up and get going. Uh, it does have a paid option if you do want the 4K settings, although I'm just using the free one here, as you can see. Um, on top of that, there are other options like Demule or using Recast or Raycast, or whatever you want to call it, via RetroArch. So for those of you who are interested, this is a closed source emulator. It's not open source. And from my understanding, the creator of this emulator did that uh, in order to stop companies from stealing his work 
and profiting off of it. There are a lot of companies out there. Um, Hyperkin is one of those who do take these emulators that people code, put them on their machines and then sell the machines for a profit. So that causes a bit of controversy in the uh, emulation community, I would say. Uh, but if you're not worried about it being closed or open source, then by all means, this is a great option. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.